doubting every small step taken in the process of appointment is such important position look at the implications for the integrity and the and the, and the independence of the institution in outside what are you talking about attorney general have the same yaar somebody becomes an ias officer by the age of say 28 30 ordinarily so by say if you have the yaar of 20 years experience by 50 52 53 you know fairly senior officer one question yeah lots of we'll give as a last chance we'll ask i'll i'll, I'll yes. stop asking was there any criteria for the law minister to pick out these four names that's, that's what i'm trying to explain that's what i'm trying to explain you lots of one criteria is there a in a, in a, in a given is there a rational criteria in a in a given situation you may have it's the law you are violating section 6 we are telling you openly no no you are lots of right they are expected to get 6 years no but i mean i i don't i don't think there is a possibility If the court were to go to the extent of saying there is always a quid pro quo in the appointment, I think that court will not. No, we are not. That's right. Absolutely not. That's right. We don't know from where you gather it. We never thought it, and we never think it. Sorry, we are only on the question of the procedure. Absolutely. If the larger debate again, we can open up the debate. No problem at all. We are not on that question at all. If you start doubting, I, I have with a great amount of reservations that you lost that. If you have to start doubting every small step taken in the process of appointment is such important position. Look at the implications for the integrity and the and the, and the independence of the institution in outside. Now, what are we talking about? Attorney General. Therefore, a, a little dent, a small dent somewhere will make a lot of difference. That's right. Please, Attorney General, kindly come to the. Uh, You know, you've got a page. I think it's A8, which you have marked for. Page number A8. You have put it as A8. A8. Yes. That is document A8. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> we are not taking the name of the person. Yes, yes, yes. We don't want to because that's not relevant for us. Can you see the date of birth? Yes. What's the date of birth? Thirty four, nineteen sixty. Yes. Thirty four, nineteen sixty. Yes. In two thousand twenty two, what will be your age? Sixty two years. She has retired on thirtieth of July, twenty twenty. Yes. Our question is going to be something yes. different. Thirty four, nineteen sixty. She is sixty two years. Even for a term of uh, election commissioner, you could not possibly she could not complete a term of six years. That's right. Even on chief election commissioner, she could never become. A... Now we come to A nine. We are not again taking the name. Yes. The date of birth is five five nineteen sixty. Right. That person is also sixty two years. Yes. Okay. And, okay. That is also same. Next yes. man, A ten. We are not taking the name. Date of birth is twenty eight nine nineteen sixty. Yes. Correct. So, is it the law that you will appoint only retired bureaucrats? Is it that norm which you are following? No, 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 no. That's if, why. That is why. That, so, our yeah. question is something yeah. different. Our question is: You would expect that when you exercise your power, that in other words, accepting all that you see, that you would act in such a way that you will also comply with the statute of limit, which means. <laughs> That you are ordinarily supposed to pick up persons who would have a six-year term, either as election commissioner or as chief election commissioner. We will accept all you what you say, but even then, the names you have picked up are such that they would not even have the ordinary term as election commissioner. Next question is the yes. most important question according to us, which is this: by narrowing the scope of the panel to these four names. Are you not shutting out those names who are sufficiently senior bureaucrats? We are going by your theory. The bureaucrats are the ones who are the best. So you have the 20-year rule in Pakistan for uh, just having that as a. <clears throat> but we will have the same yards. Somebody becomes an IAS officer by the age of say 28 to 30 ordinarily. So by say if you have the yards of 20 years experience by 50, 52, 53, be you know fairly senior officer. So, why do you select people? Why do you have a panel which will force you to appoint from that panel 
Only those persons who will have, you will never have the term. You be okay about that. We have conveyed what we are having. No, I understand if you that. See, if you put somebody at 62, if you have to select any of these persons, then you cannot appoint them. And then you say, because this particular person who is chosen is the youngest and he's have a long term. So what happens to all those others who would, would have been in the same category as the person? There is there's none else. Nobody that, that's, a, that's, a prop, that's a point I want to make. Batch wise, ah. age of age, date of birth is one thing. Yeah. But a person earlier in age or later in age could have entered service at a different point of time. Therefore, the year, the batch wise, cadre, all that is taken into consideration. So if somebody belongs to 83 batch, 84 batch, 85 batch, therefore you go with batch wise. That's somebody right. could have been senior in a later age. In a later age. So all those dynamics comes in. Therefore, how do I how do I draw a line between the pool of officers who should be picked up? So so how I, do I how do I really draw? So why so the point is that you have to also violate the law. If your if your theory is accepted that you are hell bent on seeing that nobody will ever have a term of uh, six years as election commissioner or as. So election. I don't think that intention could be imputed. I don't I don't I don't think with great amount of respect. You know, you have great you're saying, amount of respect. What you're saying. And you know that we're still waiting to see. You're saying that the council of this, but Singh was saying that if you put in place this, not that you know, this is just we're all considering various possibilities. Yes, you never get the impression that yes, yes, made up our mind in any manner. You, we, we, when we ask questions, it should not. Give no, 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 certainly I'm bound to answer all your Nobody. I mean, I don't, I, I mean, I. I it's just a debate that we should be having. It's a debate, it's a debate which I think That's all of all. us must play our due role. And I, I, I certainly understand what but my role is. We are clearing the air that, you know, we should, there should no, be no impression in anybody's mind that we are against you or their favor or anything of the kind. Certainly not. I will never get that impression. So, what we wanted to know was, Balbir Singh was heard arguing. Then, if the suggestion of the petitioners is accepted, you will have a what's called a pure recommendatory body in the form of this collegium of uh, the prime minister, the leader of the opposition, and the chief justice. Now we have the cabinet system, Article 73, 74, 77, rules of business. Therefore, once the collegium recommends, will it not get stuck in the proceedings of the council of ministers because it has to pass through the council of ministers recommendation so there we want to just clarify because we just pointed out last time that under the rules of this you have framed actually the matter relating to appointment of the chief election commissioner the election commissioner we only go to the prime minister under the rules of this we want just confirmation about that that's the procedure that's a, that's a procedure it doesn't have to go to the cabinet we wanted to know that that's a procedure no one we were saying was saying it has to go no to no the US, US. Because there are other appointments, the like ACC appointment. That's right, that's right. ACC appointment go through a cabinet secretary. So he has, but the, the level of the level of responsibility and accountability is yeah, no, no, there can't be a difference. Yeah. Right. And then yeah. there are different categories of appointment. That's right. One 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 last uh, clar clarification. The you kindly kind I want to lost attention to. Uh, yeah. So sorry. We are not examining the issue as to who is it. We are on the procedure. We are on the procedure. Exactly. I'm so therefore, the well, the logic is, I have a panel of 100 names, right? Pick up among them. Even then, somebody will say, please don't, please don't get into it. We are not saying that. We are not saying that. Or deliberately not trying to understand what we are saying. What we are saying here. Yes. We thought that, you know, you are, that nobody, you say there is nobody, you know, who is. No, no, no. The question is, if you have to have an unwieldy pool, right, then the question of first selection, second screening, third screening, how do you really go into the screening process? So every time somebody is screened out, my learned friends will come and say, look at what have you done? Are you, are you therefore getting into a question? What is the criteria which the law minister employed? Yeah, for if, like if, if, if the four eights. Then it should be four instead of four, eight, ten, twelve, how twenty. Eight, ten, no, how, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm little, you are not uh, yes. sort of... Uh, I'm so sorry. Uh, trivializing our uh, and body. Sorry. Our body is uh, basically purely, you know, legal. What you're saying is when an executive body is acting, yes. you know, uh, power and constitution, or this is an executive power, right? basically it's a power which is being given to appoint, finally, under the constitutional provision. 
So you have the Vettasperi principle, but we are not doing that. We should review assets, but we are not doing this. Whether we need to step in. So very, very important question, as you said, we said with a lot of detail. So we, are, we were a little mystical, mystified. How would you pick up uh, from a database, which you say there is, of office coding, and we pointed out three out of them could not possibly, you know, fulfill the requirement at all. There are others, it is pointed out. And it's from the list which you asked us to see, we found that right. others. Right. 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 So then how do you answer that? No, those persons who would not, no, no, look. <clears throat> We tried to explain. Right. You want to say in something? Sorry. Okay, I want you lot to look at also pay, uh, uh, section six. Before I come to section six of the act. Now, batch is one important criteria. The, the batch to which a person belongs, the one criteria. 83 batch, 84 batch, 86 batch. The batch is the criteria. The age of date of birth will be a criteria only for to find out whether somebody would have a reasonable tenure before entering 65 years. The third is among back seniority, so who would be senior among them. So these are three or four factors which come in. Now, therefore, I ask myself a question. Having regard to the practice which has prevailed over a period of time, it is comfortable. If it's comfortable for a zone of consideration with small number of people and who are found to be otherwise, and after all, the government knows, depending upon the, the service profile of a person, now, to go beyond the service profile and to now say you are having a very short panel and the short panel has been decidedly designed to pick up somebody who will fill up your bill. Yes. To reach that conclusion, to reach that conclusion, I think would be very, very difficult. The court will now put itself into the decision making body or a thought of a person who is otherwise held to be accountable for the very important decision somebody is making. We only ask you one question. Yeah, Lord, sure. We'll give as a last chance, we'll ask, I'll, I'll, I'll yes. stop asking. Was there any criteria for the law minister to pick out these four names? That's yes, what I'm trying to explain. Criteria. That's what one I'm trying criteria. to explain you, Lord, sure. One criteria. You see, initially it is a question of batches. The batch is coming. So among the batch people, will somebody have a longer tenure? That's another consideration. If that consideration is wrong, then I think no other consideration can help us. It is, it is therefore a question of who will who will fill up as nearly as possible the requirements of the law. So you went by batch. Yes, batch is taken into consideration. What, what batch? batch means kindly turn to the same page. Four batch you are seeing. Kindly turn to page four. So therefore, you you are saying that only persons who are on the verge of retirement should be appointed. Yes, yes, that's what I'm trying to point no, out. Yes, ultimately, you're saying that we have to put we have batch to is one out. criteria among batches who is senior, among among them who is probably other profile and suitability. Therefore, one, two, three, four, five. So, these criteria then somebody will score out one, somebody may score out two. So then, how do we have a selection process? So what you're saying is, therefore, that persons who are on the verge of retirement yes. who will definitely not get the term of six years either as an election commissioner or, or as a senior right. election commissioner are carefully picked and chosen. No, therefore that that's why I think for in a in a given in a in a in a given is there a rational criteria? In a in a given situation, you may have the law, you are violating section six, we are telling you openly. No, no, your lordships are right. They are expected to get six years. No, but I I only want to ask this question. How do we really come and you know honor these six years criteria? I said either either the chief election commissioner will not be able, any longer promoted <clears throat> from election, election commissioner, we must do away with that convention or a practice. Then what happens? Somebody comes to the election commissioner, he will have six years tenure, walk out to the election commission after six years of tenure. Then we have to find out a chief election commissioner who will be appointed chief election commissioner. Therefore, we get into an imbroglio prior to TN session case. How do we, why do we, why do we get into the imbroglio? Yes, we are completely with you. Whatever the mechanism, it is available at your command, you adopted it. Nothing yeah. wrong in it. Yeah. We are not good. And we are not supposed to question. And we are not questioning. Our and worry anxiety is only one, which is not this what is mode you adopted. If you see 85 batch or 83 batch, whatever the batch is, and you go to the database, you will find the age factor, the batch factor, the profile factor of the persons of a particular batch. You will find large number of officers. 
our worry is not this to whom you select it's your choice it's completely within your domain you have to do it yes yes completely you are not on the question if 85 batch or 83 batch is the denominator for the purpose of filtering the candidates for uh, making a final call fairly good right but you said we want to keep in mind the tenure of the person to complete six years nearby looking to the age factor and yes, yes. entry level to election commission yes because according to you election commission and that very person later on appointed to chief election fairly good right, you want a person must have experience of election commission right before he is given a charge right of the post to help other affairs nothing wrong right absolutely you don't know any anything to say but if you are selecting a person of 85 batch yeah with the age factor of 62 61 63 whatever it is your choice but you will find if you go to the database because you are downloaded from database and this is a filter from database if you go to the database you will find the combination of date of birth the combination of sure. the batch batch seniority may be almost similar right. and you will find suppose 20 people yeah lot of the age factor and the batch factor from various Uh, state cadres, right? Okay. Our request, what we are following to you, we are on a different point. We want to know from you what is the mechanism which the Department of Law and Justice adopted to filter down and select one eighty-five batch officer of this age. This is our question to you. Uh, I think uh, we made ourselves clear to you. Uh, If you have twenty officers, yeah, twenty-five officers of eighty-five batch. With the almost the same age factor available on database, so you can select. Absolutely, it's your domain. But we just want to know from you, what is the mechanism you adopted to filter down and select one officer of this age factor with this batch as the only officer under the Very filtering well. guide? There are only two ways of looking to. The one way is, I want somebody, therefore I'm picking him up. regardless we don't ignoring all other factors we don't say ignoring anything. all other factors i want somebody i'm picking it <laughs> that's one way then the other way is no i have a certain comfort zone in not getting into an unwieldy panel then i may have to find out how to weigh the relative profile suitability experience of a large number of people how do i really weigh them it's a it's a very difficult weighing experience So the larger the larger the field, then of course so the, the large. We have to do it on one day. Yeah. We have to do it on one day on eighteen yeah. eleven. Yeah. Everything is done. No, these these are all factors which no, in, in, in a given time. Yeah. No. Okay, I I only want one to. Day, one day. I only yeah. Eighteen eleven. Hmm? You, you can I can I just uh, have two more minutes? Sorry. I I I can I have it. Kindly turn to section six of the of the act. Certainly, certainly. I, I just want to point out such there are some disquieting features which I thought we present to talk, and I want to dispel all that impression. And and I thought there is nothing there is nothing confidential about these documents. We have showed a shady piece of. That's been very fair. That's the best way of instilling. That's the best way of instilling and you know enhancing what the quality of debate in the court and to ensure that the the independence is also ensured in that. And therefore, that's. Section nine, section nine, section six. Page one five three of the compilation. Volume one, volume one. Volume one. One fifty one. Page one fifty one. Before I read that section, so any person, this gentleman is otherwise superannuating on thirty first of December. And regardless of the age of superannuation, if the government forms among other persons the profile, I think you would better serve, and you can pick him. So the government picks him up. So the question whether he will retire or not may not weigh with the government. And if, for the purpose of comfort and convenience, that I am going, I am going to retire anyway in thirty first of December. Let me seek voluntary retirement. He seeks voluntary retirement from a cadre on which central government has no control whatsoever. And they respond to the voluntary retirement request, and is given voluntary retirement. That will not make a difference whatsoever for the government to take into account whether his profile is important, not a voluntary retirement question. That's correct. So kindly turn to section six. 
a person who immediately before the date of assuming office as the chief election commissioner or an election commissioner was in service of government, he shall be deemed to have retired from service on the date on which he enters upon the office as a chief election commissioner or an election commissioner. That's for the purpose of pension. That is true. Are we that is true. Put it, put therefore, it, no, therefore, see, what is the what is the question? We are not concerned with the no, question. No, I, I, because that that small gray area where it says, oh, he's taken voluntary retirement only for the purpose of a nudging from somebody getting voluntary retirement. Now make him make the election. All that is just all that just, is uh, just read the most crucial provision. Yeah, when you're talking about this act. This act is framed in accordance with 324.5. Yes, conditions of service. You like election. election. Right, right. The term of an election commissioner will certainly form part of the terms and conditions. Contemplation. So in that term is very important. And you say the chief election commissioner or an election commissioner shall hold office for a term of six years from the date on which he assumed his office. Then you have this proviso which you incorporated in 93 after 91 Act came. You made it in 93 by an ordinance in that's right. and that's that's right. by an act. So, do we have a situation where the proviso will actually overshadow, overwhelm the main provision every time the, the proviso becomes a rule? See, when you when you are interpreting this as you, know, you have to understand right. what right. the element in that the tail will not the tail will not wag. So we get here a situation right. where the rule says he shall have, he does not be something like that, he shall have the right. Both an election commissioner and a civil election commissioner, because the separate appointment orders will be there. When you even if you promote somebody, you can produce that. We have any doubt. Exactly. It's, it's well received. I, I'm not sure. So he will have term of six years. We you know everybody knows that he'll never have it. No, I, I, I this this question certainly come into a mind. We had discussions where the the only possible answer is yes, it happens like that. But there is there is no it design. Like there is no design. It does because, not happen like that. No, what you're saying? No, it's uh, it's is, very difficult unless are, unless I have a, a 40, 50 years of profiles and show how it has happened, why it has not happened, how the choice has been made. That that happen. exercise the maybe is the point is uh, yeah. What really binds us, guides us, is the will of the people. Speaking through parliament, the law. The law is a clear guidance. The law says, shall have six years, shall have six years. So, ordinarily, your effort should be to see that law is actually observed, not in its breach. But I, 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 can't, I can't be in disagreement with it. I'm not even saying anything. That's all we are saying. Well, all, all that I'm trying to say is having looked into the time is up and let us go. Having looked into that. Uh, therefore, this, this, uh, Disquiet that's being thought, I say, yes, I, I, in my understanding, very humble understanding, the way the system is working, how the convention is working, and how there is there is nothing in which, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't think there is a possibility, if the court were to go to the extent of saying there is always a quid pro quo in the appointment. I think that court is not. No, we are not. That's right. Absolutely not. That's right. We don't know from where you gather it. We yeah. never thought it. And we never think it. Sorry, we are only on the question of the procedure. Absolutely, don't take this impression. We are also not saying it. Yes. No, but what's the suggestion? No. You are saying there's a process which is we are not. not. The process which is not. On not. At all. Yes. Sorry, we are not on this show. Yes. Absolutely not. <laughs> you see, yesterday we requested for the file. Today you have produced it. So to that extent, we say good thing has been done. All right. Now you are trying to justify on the query of the court that the law minister yeah. has shortlisted four persons, yeah. four names from a large database. We try to understand what is the basis for shortlisting these four persons. We are still struggling with the logic and the reason. Right? Talk about the age, you are giving six But perhaps there will be many more officers who fit in the profile that you are trying to suggest in court was the basis for the law ministries, at least these four names out of the data of maybe 100 people, that age category. Now, age category is relevant because you have 
a particular tenure. You have a particular age related to the office, 65 years. So it's relevant. You may be right in saying that the age is the criteria on the basis of which we have shortlisted this four. But if we find, and of course, we have also said that we are not testing the appointment of this particular person. We are basically in this process. I quite see that. Testing Very important. The process. Testing, I, I, the, testing the process. Sorry, sorry. So what is the process through which you make the appointment of election yes, yes. If we are testing the process and if you say that age is a factor and it's a factor, it's a relevant factor, but if we find that besides these four, there are 40 others who also fit into the same age factor, Correct. then why four? Why not the other 36? This is the question that we Certainly, it's a, well, it's a well important question. And one thing, you've, we have talked about the silence of the constitution, just to lighten the mood a bit. <laughs> Just to lighten the mood of the bit. Yeah, logically. You have given eight points in your note. Attorney General's note contains eight points. Yes, yes. If you there was about something else. Yeah. <laughs> the ninth note is missing. And that could have been that could have been the Attorney General saying that election process is all about numbers. And the man who has got a gold medal in mathematics, we have shortlisted him. <laughs> that note is missing. I didn't I didn't want to. I didn't want to put myself in the place of those who have taken the decisions. <laughs> yes. I just one, one small concluding. This question will certainly keep coming. Why four? Why not five? Why not ten? Therefore, any number of persons who will be placed on the equal footing on an outsider's point of view. In the, when I say outsider, from an external agency. The internal agency now knows how do we how wide we can have a yes, election plan. How wide it can be. The more it's wider, I, again I repeat, as narrow or wide, the question of discretion will always be questioned. Will always be questioned. Every third seniority of appointment matter from the highest to the lowest that's level, why, including judges appointment, we thought, before this court. That's why we thought that why the rules have so far not been framed when the legislature and the constitution. That's that's an important question. If the rules would have been there, no. the mechanism even the, would have been even the, the, he, very filtered. Even then, even then, you lost his nose. After rules having framed, don't we have seniority disputes in the country for the past 50 years? That's a different thing. You're seniority. Right. Every, every, so seniority in the context of high, so high court employees. You want to say that why should we have a rule that disputes no, no, remain there? That. I'm not saying that. Avoid all rules and go ahead. Seniority in the context. Ultimately, of this court will take a call and decide. No, 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 no please don't listen to Sandy like that. I'm not saying that. Rules are framed. We, we know it. Every time this court is intervening and the seniority rules are always breached. But still. Let us look at, that's why yesterday I think I made a, I am taking a lot of time because a very important sharing of thoughts and ideas and it's going to certainly enhance the quality of decision making process. I am very clear about that. But uh, the <coughs> certain, certain institutions and certain processes probably are best left to certain informality and when that informality brings about a confidence, then there is no difficulty at all. But whenever on a given occasion, the informality breaches that confidence level, the court will always look into that. But for that purpose, in a given case, a certain doubt has arisen in the mind of the court, then will the court go to the extent saying, I think we will have to now look at the informality. We don't know whether we can trust it. And therefore, we'll try to tighten it up. All right. Thank you. So that, that would be a, a little closer to Keeping that, you know, play in the joint. But after all, we are not looking at appointments at a very ordinary level, at a level where other considerations may or may not come. But I, I, I and on one last thing, this you lost put me a question. It oh. happened in May. What happening in May? Many things are this very highly confidential thing. Informal decisions take place. When do we do it? How do you do it? Therefore, there is nothing is kept on black and white. It's not like an ordinary that no. note sheet in a in any other in any circumstance. If the vacancy was available to you on fifteenth of May. Then what what was that emergency let it, let it came across? That let me tell you not. One okay, very, fine very, morning you have rolled out the whole system. There's nothing to hide. Nothing to hide. Yes. There is nothing to hide at all. <laughs> nothing to hide at all. Even before I, I, I on yeah. taking certain things on, on, on my shoulder, I must tell you lots of what happened. Oh, because these you. things come before thank the court. Thank you. Thank even you. before, let even let before. I'm on. sorry. Let us get on now. Let yes. him, let him come so even before the matter, the was, matter was heard. Sorry. Yes. Then I was asked whether any impediment in going about the appointment. 
was there any problem? Then I thought about the matter. I didn't find there was any injunction or a stay or an office, something like that. There is no reservation on that. And precisely they quoted that there is no reservation going up. No, that is how that is how it went ahead. So it, it took probably about a week's time after I gave my consultation and then you started to move it. So therefore the speed part of it was also after my consultation with that's how that's what there is. I don't think your losses will see any rat smell, any rat in it. It's very important that certain things take place at a very, very, a very highly consultative, confidential level, and things are and advice and uh, thank well, you, thank that's, you. That's how. Thank you. And I, I thought, keeping keeping in mind the independence of the office of the attorney general, the advice that I give must also carry weight and confidence, and then it it should not it should not lead to any uh, what I call uh, even remotely. A, a remote link or use for anything out of out of the blue. That's all I want to say. Thank you. On a matter uh, of fact, my lord, there are